coming at you now from the iGoogoo box where I found a really cool application to bring IP and internet content to your television set. So the uh, one of the big challenges about bringing uh, digital content and IP content to your television set is how do you actually navigate the power of the internet with a remote control? That's one of the big challenges. Or the other thing is you could bring a QWERTY keyboard to your living room, which is usually a very challenging propagation. I know in my case, uh, proposition, in my case, I don't really want to have a full PC sitting in my living room, and so I use a Roku, some people use Xbox 360, we talked about the pop box a little bit earlier, there's Boxy, there's a whole lot of different solutions, and the big challenge with anything other than a PC is that every application right now only supports a subset of what is actually available on the internet. So if you use Xbox 360, you've got Zoom Media, but you can't get Amazon Video On Demand, and you have a limited access to the Netflix service, but if you have an actual media center PC, you can have access to all of those services, Amazon, Zoom, iTunes, you can have access to anything that the internet has to offer through your PC. So the iGoogoo application has an innovative way of bringing your PC into your living room without actually having to have a PC in your living room and without having to bring a full-size QWERTY keyboard into your living room. So the uh, iGoogoo application works by, it provides a small box, which I'm going to go over here and show it to you. So it's hiding back there. And the box is available both in wired and it's also available in wireless. Um, it's good. It, wired model starts at $79. The wireless model for, includes 802.11n and it, it, uh, it costs $199 MSRP. These are coming, they're not available yet, they will be available first quarter. And so what it actually does is it streams directly from your PC to your television. So over wireless technology or over wired, either way. And the, the cool thing is, is they have a very cool remote with a full QWERTY keyboard. So the difference between this and say a Roku or the or the Pop Box, this is obviously something that's a little bit more techy. Um, it does make it possible to navigate the full internet from your television, which you can take advantage of the Netflix and all the other uh, IPTV type of services or internet TV type of services. And you don't have to worry about whether Roku is going to support that service or whether Pop Box or Boxy supports that service. Your PC is going to support virtually everything that comes out. So that provides you a lot of investment protection. That being said. If you're not as techy, the navigation, even with uh, the very robust, uh, nice little remote that they offer here, it's still going to be a lot more complicated of a navigation and a setup than you'll find in, in a more simple and um, non-technical consumer-oriented setup that you'd find in the Pop Box and the Roku. So a little more complicated, but I, what I love about it is it brings the investment protection and in that knowing that regardless of what type of internet content is going to be available over the next few years, it doesn't matter if Roku or pop box decides to choose it or not. If it's available on your PC, you can have it streamed to your television, and the remote is capable of being able to access uh, pretty much anything that you can access on your TV, so you can have all the full quality content. So I think it's a great product. It's definitely one that I'm putting you know, towards the top of my list. It's still early in CES, so I've got to see what else is out there. But um, to me, I don't want to put a big noisy PC in my living room. Uh, I think it's, it's, I really like the capability of being able to have their nice, fairly sleek remote control that I can use for my couch and still be able to access any of the internet content and the internet television type of services that are available and not have to worry about whether Roku is going to support them in the future or Popbox is going to support them or whoever the specific content, Xbox, PlayStation, you name it. This, this will be able to support a large number of content. And so great investment protection, very sleek, very cool product, definitely uh, a